Hello students. Today we are doing triangles exercise 17b. This is on page number 202. Find the unknown angles in the given figures. So we're going to have many questions here. We're going to find out the unknown angles. Take a look at the figure. The unknown angles are x and y. We have to find out x and y. Now can you see these two lines here and these two lines here? It tells us that these two sides are equal to each other. The lines tell us that the two sides are equal to each other. That means there is a name to a triangle like this. A triangle which has two sides equal is called an isosceles triangle. Now there's a very important property of the isosceles triangle and let's see what that is. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles, that is what are the base angles? The angles opposite the equal sides, so there's an equal side here, these two are equal to each other. The angles that are opposite these two sides will always be equal. So what are those two angles? Now the first one is angle Y because opposite this side, this side, it's opposite this side. And the other one is angle X which is opposite this side. So the angles that are opposite to equal sides are called base angles and base angles are always equal. So that means X is equal to Y because base angles are always equal in an isosceles triangle. Now the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. We're going to make use of this property also. So what are the interior angles of this triangle? x, y and 80. So x plus y plus 80 degrees should give us 180 degrees. Now as we know x and y are equal so I can write x plus x because y is the same as x plus 80 degrees equals 180 degrees. So x plus x will be 2x plus 80 is 180 degrees. So that means 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. I'm transposing plus 80 to the right hand side. It becomes minus 80. So this means that 2x is equal to 180 minus 80 is 100. Therefore, x will be equal to 100 divided by 2. Again, here it is multiplication. So when it moves to the right side, it becomes division. So let's divide 100 by 2. 100 divided by 2, 2 fives are 10 minus 0. So that's 50. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. So we have found the value of x to be 50 degrees. So that means angle x is 50 degrees and angle y is also 50 degrees. So we have found the value of the unknown angles. So the unknown angles x and y are 50 degrees each. Question 2. In an isosceles triangle, we know that the base angles are equal. So keeping that property in mind, we are going to find out the value of angles A and B. So what are the base angles here? Angles that are opposite the equal sides. So the base angles will be angle B and angle 40. They are opposite the equal sides. So we know that they are equal. Therefore, angle B is equal to 40 degrees. So we have found the value of angle B. Now to find the value of angle A, let's use another property. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So what are the interior angles? Angle A plus B plus 40 degrees will give us 180 degrees. Now let's substitute the values. A plus B we know is 40 degrees plus 40 degrees together will give us 180 degrees. So let's find the value of A. A plus 40 plus 40 is 80 degrees together it adds up to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. So, angle A is 
equal to 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees. So we have found the value of angle A to be 100 degrees and angle B to be 40 degrees. Next question, we have, we have to find angles X and Y. Once again, we're going to make use of the property of isosceles triangle, which says in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are always equal. So what are the base angles here? Angle Y and angle X. That means angle X is equal to angle Y. And we also are going to make use of another property the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. That means if I add up x plus y plus 90 degrees, I will get 180 degrees. And since x and y are the same, I will replace them with x. Each one is x. So this is x plus x plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. So x plus x will give us 2x. 2x plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. That means 2x will be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. Minus because we are transposing plus 90 from the left hand side to the right hand side. So let's minus 180 and 90 to find the value of 2x. So 0, now I borrow 18 minus 9 is 9, so that's 90 degrees. So 2x is equal to 90 degrees. What will the value of x alone be? x will be 90 degrees divided by 2. Division because here's multiplication and when you transpose it to the right side, it becomes division. Now let's divide 90 by 2. 2 fours are 8 minus 1, you bring down 0, 2 fives are 10. So we've got 45. That means the value of x is 45 degrees. And since we wrote in the beginning angle x is equal to angle y, we know the values of both these angles. Angle x is 45 degrees and angle y, since both are equal, since both are base angles, angle y is also 45 degrees. Question 4, also here we have the unknown angles here. We have A, we need to find A, we need to find B and we need to find X. So now we'll start this question. With the same property, in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are always equal. And what are the base angles here? Angle A and angle B. So angle A is equal to angle B. And to find angles A and B, let's use another property. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So that means A plus B plus 80 degrees is the third angle. Together is 180 degrees. So A, I will write A as it is. And since A and B are equal, I'll put A again. Plus 80 degrees equals 180 degrees. So this means A plus A is 2A. 2A plus 80 degrees is 180. So to find the value of 2a, we write 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. We have transposed 80 to the right side. So the value of 2a is 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees. Let's find the value of a. a will be 100 degrees divided by 2. So let's divide 100 by 2. So that is 2 fives are 10 minus 0, 0. So we have found the value of angle A to be 50 degrees. So now we know angle A is 50. And since angles A and B are equal, so angle B will also be 50 degrees. So we have found these two angles. Now we have to find the value of angle X. So let's continue with that. So here we're going to use another property because angle X, as you can see, is an exterior angle. This side has been produced outside to form an exterior angle. So angle X is the exterior angle and we're going to 
find out angle X by using this property. What does this property say? The exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of its interior opposite angles. So the opposite interior angles of this exterior angle are 80 degrees and angle A. So let's write that down. X is equal to 80 degrees plus A. And we have found the value of A earlier. So X will be equal to 80 degrees. We found the value of A to be 50. So that's 50 degrees. So now we can find the value of angle X. That will be 80 plus 50. So let's do that addition. 80 plus 50, 0. 8 plus 5 is 3, 13. So now it is 130. So X is equal to 130 degrees. So now we have found all our angles. We have found angle A to be 50 degrees. Angle B is also 50 degrees. And angle X we have found out to be 130 degrees. Question 5. Now here we have angle P. We are asked to find angle P. So we're going to use the property of exterior angle. Or we can also use the property of adjacent angles in a linear pair. So for that, first we need to know the angles that are inside, isn't it? So what are the base angles of this triangle? They are the angles that are opposite the equal sides. So we have two base angles in red and two exterior angles in green. One is P and the other is A to 6. Let the base angles be x. So let's consider these base angles to be x. So in that case, in a triangle, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles, isn't it? So x plus x will be equal to 86. So now let's find the value of x. So x plus x is 2x. 2x is equal to 86 degrees. That means x will be equal to 86 divided by 2. So let's divide 86 by 2. 86 divided by 2. 2 fours are 8 minus 0, 6. 2 threes are 6. So we have found the value of x to be 43 degrees. So the base angles are 43 degrees each. Now we can find the value of angle P. By using this property, a linear pair of adjacent angles is 180 degrees. So which is the linear pair of angles here? Angle P and this 43 degrees are a pair of adjacent angles and they are a linear pair and together they must add up to 180 degrees. So let's find that P plus 43 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So to find the value of P, we write 180 degrees minus 43 degrees. So let's subtract 180 and 43. So I'll borrow here. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. 1, 137. So we have found the value of P to be 137 degrees. So angle P is 136 degrees. 37 degrees, we found the value of the unknown angle. Question 6. Now here we've been given these angles. Now let's see what are all the unknown ones. Now angle N and angle M. We need to find the values of angle N and angle M. So let's begin. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are always equal. So which are the base angles? The angles shaded in red are the base angles. That means angles M and 35 are equal. So we have found the value of angle M to be 35 degrees. So M is 35 degrees. Now we have to find the value of angle N. So let's use another property. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Now what are all the interior angles here? All the angles shaded in red are the interior angles. So with that, we're going to find the value of N. So let's add up all the interior angles. So that will be N plus M plus 60 degrees plus 35 degrees will give us 180 degrees. 
So let's substitute the values and see. Now we're going to find N, so that will remain as it is. M is 35 degrees, we just found that out, plus 60 plus 35 will be equal to 180 degrees. So let's find the value of N by adding up these three numbers, 35 plus 60 plus 35. Let's add it up. Okay, so what do we get here? 5 plus 5 is 10, carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So here we get N plus 130 degrees. 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So now to find the value of N, we say 180 degrees minus 130 degrees because we are transposing 130 degrees to the right hand side. So we can find the value of N by subtracting 180 and 130. So let's subtract 180 and 130. That is 0. We're subtracting 8 minus 3 is 5, 0. So that is 50. So we have found the value of N to be 50 degrees. So the value of M is 35 degrees and the value of angle N is 50 degrees. So we have found both the answers. Question 7. So here we can see two parallel lines. Can you see two parallel lines? This one and this one. And they are cut by this transversal. Then we can use a property which says parallel lines are cut by the transversal. Therefore, alternate angles are equal. So these are the two alternate angles, angle X and angle 60. And since they are parallel lines and we use the property of parallel lines, so alternate angles are equal. That means angle X is equal to 60 degrees. Now we need to find angle Y. So let's start this way. Let the base angles of the isosceles triangle be A. Which are the base angles? The angle shaded in red are the base angles. Let the base angles be A. So now the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. That means angle A plus angle A plus X. Okay, A plus A plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Now we're going to find the value of A. So A plus A will be 2A. 2a plus x is equal to 180 degrees. That means 2a will be 180. We're going to substitute x with the value. We found x to be 60 degrees. So now we find the value of 2a. 2a will be equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So 2a is equal to, let's minus and see, 180 minus 60. When we minus, we get 0. 8 minus 6 is 2 and 1, 120 degrees. So 2a is 120. That means a will be 120 degrees divided by 2. So let's divide 120 by 2. 2 sixes are 12 minus 0. So we have a zero on top, so now it is 60. So here we found the value of angle A to be 60 degrees. So the base angles are now 60. Now with the help of this, we can find angle Y. So now to find angle Y, let's use this property. Exterior angle of a triangle is the sum of its interior opposite angle. So angle Y is the exterior angle and the two angles shaded in green X and A are the interior opposite angles. So that means y is equal to x plus a. So now let's substitute for y, x and a and find the value of angle y. x we found out to be 60 degrees and angle a also we found out to be 60 degrees. So now we can find out the value of y. y is equal to 60 plus 60 which is 120 degrees. So now we have found the answers to the unknown angles x is equal to 60 degrees and y is equal to 120 degrees. So we will stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. 
Thank you, Chukri.